All right, y'all, so we're gonna talk about the seven deadly sins for being in the barracks. These are the 10 commandments of being in the barracks. If you're in the barracks, follow these rules or I'ma smack the crap out of you. Leave a like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at deepside99. Let's get right into it. All right, so currently I live in the barracks at Naval Air Station Coronado. I'm not gonna say which one I'm in, but I'm at Naval Air Station Coronado. My ship is out here. And usually when you get to the fleet, you live on the ship for a little bit. I got really, really lucky my chain of command like came through because at the time I got there, the ship was uninhabitable. So they just put me, you know, in the barracks immediately. And that's like almost unheard of. So I'm very grateful for my chain of command. And you know what I mean? Them doing that really cool thing for me because I know like that's not something that happens for everybody. So I'm very blessed and I'm very thankful for them kind of coming through and giving me that opportunity to kind of like live in the barracks. So like the biggest thing when you live in the barracks though, is like number one rule is be like clean. So don't leave like shit stains in the toilet, right? Wipe down the mirrors, get some Windex, Clorox things though. Like, like dirty barracks rooms, bro. It's like, it's like this stuff is such a blessing because you don't have to live in the barracks. Like you can get put on the ship and just like live at work all the time. Like. Like for the people who's not in the military, imagine like living at McDonald's and then going to work at McDonald's. So you do an eight hour shift and then you immediately go to the back room and then that's just where you, there's like a bed, but everybody else's bed is there too. And you have to go there and then you have like a laundry facility that, you know, that's like, it's just like, it's just like living on the ship compared to living in the barracks. The barracks is so much better. You have like a washing machine, things like that. So just keep it clean, you know what I mean? Especially like the toilet and like the shower areas. Those are like the main thing everybody has to share. Usually you share it with at least like four people, uh, maybe two people, just depending on how many people you got in your room. But for us, we share it with four people. So if you're, if you're not keeping that clean, you're gonna make a lot of enemies. Um, and so just, just keep your room clean, you know what I mean? Make your bed every day. Make it so the room can pass an inspection so that nobody gets kicked off and has to go back to the ship. Because if somebody gets kicked off and has, like if I got kicked off, kicked out of the barracks and had to go back to the ship, I would probably light somebody up. Just saying. So be clean in the barracks. That's like a huge thing. Like I, I can't stand when people are dirty. A lot of other people can't stand when people are dirty. They teach you cleanliness in boot camp. Use that knowledge and actually apply it. Don't be stank in your room, you know what I mean? Get some Febreze, care about yourself. You know what I mean? That's like the big thing. Show respect to yourself and show respect to your roommates. Yeah. The next thing is don't steal other people's food. Like don't go into somebody else's food. If you know it's not yours, don't eat that shit. I don't have that problem in my room, but if somebody ate my food, that's gonna be like, I'm gonna get you kicked out, bro. I'm, I'm gonna file a complaint against you because you're not, don't be eating another grown man's food or another grown woman's food. You know what I mean? If you didn't pay for it, don't use it, bro. Don't eat it. That's, and that goes for also stealing people's soaps. Don't use their soap or their face wash or anything like that. You didn't pay for that. That didn't come out of your check. So don't use somebody else's stuff. That's weird. Why would you even do that in the first place? You're nasty. That's gross. Don't eat somebody's food. Like that's that's just doing somebody dirty. And that's a good way to get kicked out of the barracks. Cause I would file a complaint about you. The next thing is don't steal anybody's stuff. So if somebody has like Xbox games, has Xbox controllers, they have anything like cool in their room. You know, they maybe they have a nice watch. Maybe they have a nice chain. Don't take it. Like stealing in the Navy is already a problem on the ship. When somebody's in the barracks, it's somebody's home. So, and it's the same thing for you. Like if your stuff gets stolen, that's messed up. So don't come in and take other people's stuff. Don't use their stuff if you know it's not yours. Like I said, you know what I mean? If you're, if you're taking it, it's like, it's like, okay, how is this person gonna get it back? And we know the only other person who has access to the room is you. So it's either you or it's one of your friends or because I know for a fact these barracks managers are not coming in here and taking stuff from other people, right? They don't even want to come up into the rooms, bro. They, they, I guarantee you they just want to sit at their desk, do their job, and then go home like everybody else. You're in the barracks, bro. Just relax. Take it easy. Don't try to steal other people's stuff to make your life better. Just use your check. Everybody's getting paid the same amount. Everybody's making $800 a month. So why do you want to come in here and take my shit, right? Now wait, don't steal from anybody at all. 
Next thing is buy trash bags and buy cleaning supplies for your room. You know what I mean? Buy Windex, buy trash bags, because if everybody's gonna be using your trash can, everybody's gonna be using the trash that everybody gets inspected on in the main room, because everybody shares like a main common room. If you're gonna be using that trash can, get trash bags for it. Get toilet paper for yourself. Get, you know what I mean? And if you're gonna be using other people's stuff, buy that stuff for everybody else too. Have a conversation with people and be like, look, I got this cleaning supplies. If you guys are trying to clean the room, you guys can use it. That way nobody fails an inspection and nobody has to go back and live on the ship. The next thing is like, don't sit on other people's beds unless they give you permission to. Like if somebody came in my room, I sat on my roommate's bed. His bed is always made like super nicely. Why would I let somebody sit on his bed and mess his bed up, right? That's that's just unfair. It's not your stuff. Like like the big thing about the barracks is like, have your own stuff, use your own stuff, buy stuff if it's, you know, if you wanna share your cleaning supplies, fine. But have your own stuff and just use your own stuff. Don't come into somebody else's living space and try to like take their things and you know what I mean? Use their equipment, mess up their bed, do all types of stuff because the less you mess with your roommates and the more you just try to be respectful that the farther that's going to get you you know people are going to respect you people are going to like you they're not going to want to complain about you anything like that just stay clean and bleach your goddamn shower and this is going to be my last thing it's don't leave like your clothes like out in the living room or like out in the washer or dryer like if you no, you can't do laundry. Don't leave your stuff in there because other people in the room are gonna have to do laundry also. So if you have like, cause in my barracks, we have a washer and dryer. Don't like put your clothes in the washer and then just like leave them there because it's not my responsibility. If I wanna do laundry in my own barracks room, I shouldn't have to move your clothes to the dryer and do your laundry for you. You should be an adult about it and put it in the dryer for yourself and then take it out. And if you're gonna go somewhere, like don't do laundry. That's like the main thing. Like if you gotta do laundry, do it at night or something. Do it whenever you have time for it and be respectful of everybody else. Don't just take up these facilities. Also. Don't leave dirty dishes in the sink, because that's nasty. And it's not anyone else's job to clean up after you. You're an adult. And also, don't leave your underwear or your bathing suits or anything like in the shower. Don't leave like your dirty clothes on the floor, because that's also just nasty and it's a good way to get your stuff thrown away. Um, so, yeah. That's gonna be the end of this video. If you guys have any more tips for people living in the barracks, any more rules that I missed, Put them in the comments. Also comment any type of crazy story that you may have with a roommate in the barracks, somebody, you know what I mean, who is nasty or raunchy or anything crazy, put it in the comments. If you feel like I missed out on something, put it in the comments. But like I said, I appreciate you guys. Go ahead and leave a like and subscribe on this video. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers this year. So I wanna build up this army and really create like a positive community for, you know what I mean, people to interact and just kind of have fun and not really be judged or be, hate, be hateful or anything like that. So yeah. Leave your experiences in the comments. Also, follow me on Instagram at DeepSide999. That is where everything about me personally is going to be posted. Appreciate you guys. Stay blessed. Peace. Yo, guys, I was editing this video right quick. I just wanted to say one more thing. Make sure you lock your stuff because if you don't like your stuff, you can fail a barracks room inspection for that. So I had to say, leave a like and subscribe. Peace. Uh, trying to hit to buy. American Express, swiping visas when I fly, ayy Know my ops be falling off, don't even ask them why, ayy Had to take that